vaccinated against jaundice. Oh. to be vaccinated, do you? Excuse me, maybe you can tell me when we're all going to be vaccinated. Hey there! Maybe you can tell me when we'll be vaccinated. You'll be vaccinated when the time comes. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you tell me, do vaccinations really hurt very much? I don't know, I don't know. They say it's really nothing. Really nothing. A jab, and that's all. There you are. Excuse me, please. It's true, isn't it, that a vaccination is nothing. Just a jab, and that's all. How awful. The minute you show up on the beach, you're surrounded by ignoramuses. Excuse me. Hey. Oh, it's you, Marabou. Uh, you must know everything about vaccinations. Cheer up, friend. Let's go home. And I'll tell you all about it. Vaccinations are important, but there's nothing to it. A jab, and that's all. Who's Hippo? Who's Hippo? Here's a notification. Uh, no, no notification? What notification? You can read, can't you? Please come to be vex vaccinated. Oh.
Oh, where am I? Oh, you silly thing. Now nothing's going to happen to you. Come along with me. The doctor will give you a little jab, and that's all. Marabou, will you hold me by the hand? Of course I will. Does it hurt very much? Oh, no, not at all. Just a jab, that's all. <whistles> Next. Uh, Mr. Hippo, please, now. <gasps> Where's Hippo? He was sitting right here. Where on earth could he be? I don't know and I don't care where your old Hippo is. Where is he? That really is interesting. Hippo's disappeared. Hippo's missing. <laughs> where is he? Uh, I don't know. Mr. Hippo, it's your turn. Hippo, where is Hippo? Where are Hippo, you? Yeah. Where are you? Where is Hippo? Where is Hippo? Where is Hippo? Where is he? Where on earth is he? Oh, so there you are. He's here. Well, take a look at that. Come down. Come here, Hippo. Come down, Hippo. Come on, Come Hippo. On. Why, shame on you. Just look at yourself. Come right down from there. Come down, my friend. Don't worry, Hippo. I'll be with you. And will you hold me by the hand all the time, my friend? I will, I will. Yes, yes. Come in. Come in, please. Oh, what's the matter? Why, you're soaking wet. It's just a matter of taste. Some like to play ping pong and others like to sweat. Oh, I see now. And I thought he was afraid of me. Oh, no. Such a big animal doesn't know the meaning of fear. And then, what's a vaccination? A chip? And that's all. All right, then. Let's get started. <gasps> oh, what's that? Why has your hippo turned white all of a sudden? Oh, he's an exceptional animal. He's a white hippo, the only kind in the world. But he was gray just a minute ago. That's right. Sometimes he's white, sometimes he's gray. Oh, I see. It's too bad, but his skin is very tough. I'd better go and find another place for the injection. No, I'd better get a longer needle. Your hippo may be exceptional, but I'm afraid that he's just a little bit of a coward, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> oh, no, doctor. He's just ticklish. <laughs> just ticklish. Tell me, uh, 
does it really hurt? Oh, no. It's nothing. Just a jab and that's all. Well, this is the right needle. It will do. <laughs> but now, where has your hip hop gone? <gasps> he ran away. Just imagine what a silly hippo. <laughs> What happened? What's the matter? Uh, what? What do you mean, what? You're as yellow as a lemon. Yes. What's the matter? If I were all white, I would have thought that I was afraid of something again. But why am I so yellow? <laughs> Hello, Doctor. You know, our hippo has suddenly become very, very yellow. Well, that's quite possible. You told me that he was a very special kind of hippo, didn't you? He isn't special at all. That was all rubbish, Doctor. He was simply afraid of being vaccinated. So that's it. And he's an ordinary hippo after all. Well, since he hasn't been vaccinated, he's down with the jaundice. I'll send an ambulance right out. Oh, my goodness, a yellow hippo. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. I wonder, how did he manage to get that wonderful color? much better now. Oh, dear Marabou, if you only knew how terrible it is to stay in bed when everyone is out swimming, playing volleyball, listening to good music, and dancing. Cheer up, friend. You'll be well soon, and then... I'm so lonely. Could you please tell me some nice little bedside story? 
Could you? Let's see now. There once lived a hippo who was ever so terribly afraid. Terribly afraid of being vaccinated. What is the matter? I really think he must be some kind of extraordinary hippo. No, doctor, he's an ordinary hippo. Only he's ashamed of himself for being so terribly afraid of vaccinations. upon a time there lived a crocodile and of course like all crocodiles he was frightful he had a frightful tail a frightful mouth and the most frightful teeth that didn't. So it was not at all surprising that one fine day his teeth began to ache. Thank you. 
such oh short short pause well if someone could clean my teeth for me hey ah oh, no sir nothing doing nothing doing open your mouth be careful not to close it your back oh you can close your mouth <laughs> Thank you very much, little bird, Tally. You are so kind. <gasps> the crocodile has spoken a kind word. <gasps> the, the crocodile has spoken a kind word. If you want, I will clean your teeth for you every day, at mornings and evenings. Agreed. <laughs> Be peace and let all fighting immediately cease. Teeth shall not bite, they'll never be fried. But tell me why. Who'll answer right? Just cause the frightful crocodile gave her eatery a kind little smile. <laughs> <laughs> And from that very day, little bird Harry became friends with the crocodile. And they even say that the crocodile isn't frightful anymore. 